they tell the story. If I point to someone else, they immediately stop and uh, the other person continues. If that person who is continuing the story, if they stutter, you guys yell die, circa die. If they just stop, you yell die, circa die. If they start to laugh, or if they repeat what the other person said, you yell die, sucker die. So to know that you're ready, uh, let's see if you can, are able to eliminate and kill from the game. On the count of three, everyone yell die, sucker die. One, two, three. Die, sucker die. Uh, like you just had a delicious spaghetti dinner with lots of energy. One, two, three. Die, sucker die. die. Much loud. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, and begin. You want to get? Okay. Uh, an animal. An animal you'd find in a zoo. A bear? I heard bear. Uh, and um, something you like to, uh, your favorite snack. Ice cream. Ice cream. I heard it first. All right. Uh, this story has to do something somehow with a bear and ice cream. Once upon a time, there was a bear who loved ice cream. And every day he ate it so jubilantly that he threw up. Die! <laughs> After throwing up, of course, he would go out and eat some more ice cream. Because he always wanted to. End the day with an ice cream bowl. But he couldn't. Because he was a bear. And he was like, so And he couldn't eat ice cream anymore. <laughs> you guys are afraid to kill him. <laughs> Ice cream. Die! <laughs> and so the bear with it with the ice cream ate it all day long until he threw up. Ice cream. Die! 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 Someone's dead. Oh, continue. Go. So he ate the ice cream every day for the rest of his life. And then he went to go to the doctor and found out that he was overweight with bear symptoms. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to start a scene, and at some point, uh, they will magically take them out of their pocket and fit them into the scene and try to fit whatever they said uh, and have it make sense somewhat. Um, a relationship of some kind, family, whatever. How do they know each other? The the friends. They're best friends. Best friends. Best friends. <laughs> Bet. 
jump. You guys wrote down some uh, genres. Uh, two people are going to do a scene. Uh, the two people doing the scene are Takuma and Russell. Oh, whatever. I told you. <laughs> That's what happens when people don't show up to a show. Oh, um, no, no, it's okay. He's sick. Oh, he is sick? He, he texted me, but I'm not supposed to have a phone, so I don't want to call him. Alright, I didn't hear that. Um, no, technical school, you're fine. Uh, uh, they're going to start a scene here in a little bit, and uh, I'm going to yell freeze at some point, uh, and they're going to suddenly continue the scene in a totally different genre. And they'll start off regularly, and... Uh, we have a odd relationship, or scenario. Dentist. 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 I heard dentist. Don't all shout right. out. Probably stop eating. Your teeth are horrible. I don't know. I, I don't know why. Is that wood? Uh huh. <laughs> is that a mag? What is? Hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness oh. gracious. See? That's a beaut. I know. I like that. Freeze. Uh, infomercial. If you pay me 16 easy payments of $67,000, you do gonna have this beautiful piece of tooth. This beautiful piece of rotten tooth. I don't know. Shant Wow, so this help. And on top of that, let's just throw in free shipping and handling. Who can beat that? And I'll throw in three of my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> now there is a catch. If you call in within the next 10 minutes, you get four teeth. That's right, four of my teeth and three of his. All for, what was that? If you call in the freeze. next 10 minutes, I'll uh, him. Freeze, in the style of a prehistoric uh, caveman. <laughs> oh, slash <nice> tooth. <laughs> Give me tooth. No. <laughs> Right up. 
Perfect. Uh, when we do something um, that you don't like or that wouldn't happen, give us a honk. Excellent. All right. Um, for safety reasons, I'll be playing you. Uh, <laughs> Join the group. Uh, and uh, could, who are you around on a daily basis? Family member, maybe? Uh, oh, my uh, dog, friend. my son, husband. Son, uh, pick one that uh, you're, you're close to. That's Jake, Jake. Jake. Is that your dog or your husband? <laughs> I, I don't know. Son. Son, son. Oh, yes, it is. Yes. Yes. Uh, so I will be playing uh, Margaret Hall, and you will be playing Jake, the son. How old is your son? 25. 25. All right. Uh, we'll start off in the morning, a day in the life of Margaret Hall. <laughs> I don't want to go to work. I hate work. <sighs> Feels good. I did my yoga. Fantastic. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. Come here. Oh, it's so fantastic that you're living in the basement at the age of 25. <laughs> I always knew you'd come to uh, do something special with your life. Tell you what, have a seat. I'll get your breakfast ready for you. I tell you what, I'm going to have a seat. Why don't you get some breakfast ready? <laughs> How do you like pancakes, Mom? You know I love pancakes and spam. Uh, I just recently cut out meat. I heard it's bad for you. I was watching uh, Dr. Phil, and uh, I, was, I was listening to NPR. <laughs> and uh, they're very smart on that show, and I, I heard that eggs with uh, broccoli is good. Quick, son. Chop, chop. Don't be so slow. I'm not a hot to push, Mom. Don't talk to me while you're cooking. Mom. <laughs> it's okay. You just, you just go with it. It looks fantastic. I'll eat whatever you make. Oh, oh, I'm so oh. happy. I'm so happy. Oh. oh, it's delicious. All right. Mmm. <laughs> It's fantastic. <laughs> it's delicious. You make me so proud. I tell you, why don't you uh, help mommy get ready for work like you do every morning? Uh, why don't you uh, do whatever you like to do in the morning, read your comics? Uh, do, you have, do you have a job yet? <laughs> uh, I went out yesterday and I have an interview with Subway. I have an interview with the Trump. That's I can't understand you these days. <laughs> Probably because you didn't pay attention to school. You're so unintelligible. To think I'm a librarian. And you, I don't know what, and you are the next rocket scientist. And I, I'm proud of you, son. Um, the breakfast was fantastic, and uh, even though the red shells in there, I, you know, I just thought it was like granola, and it was fantastic. Uh, I tell you what, why don't you go get ready for your special job interview, and uh, I'm going to put on my suit of armor so I can go to Jenkins. <laughs> I'm going to go put on my uh, tutu. Uh, I'm just going to wear a neutral color, possibly a conservative uh, knee-length skirt, and maybe a, a, a jacket. Uh, goodbye, son. Have a wonderful day. I know. Teller slips. Uh, we'll use your slips one more time. We have a, uh, a, a Miss Cleo in the group. Uh, she's going to tell people's fortunes. They'll come on with a question and she will randomly pick up a slip and look into her magic whatever. And she will somehow make that slip fit to their uh, question and it'll all work out. All right, first one, come in, come in. Hi right, there, darling, how you do today? Sit down, sit down, let me tell you your fortune. Hello, darling. Hi there. How are you? I'm fine, I'm lovely. <coughs> I was wondering mm -hmm. how many husbands I have to go through to find the right one. Oh. I've been through 19. Oh, you're a busy woman. <laughs> and, and. The, the most that one's lasted is three weeks. Oh, well, let me tell you. Let me check my magic belly button later. Let's see what it has to say here. Okay, I didn't watch today, so it's a good one. 
It's so cold. You know, it's cold in the state. It's cold here. All the good men, they move down to Florida and everything where it's warm. You have to go there, child. Go there and get your mind. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hi, darling. Good night. All right, then, girlie. Hey, there. Now, I got these boll weevils in my crops, mm -hmm. and I don't know what to do. Oh, those boll weevils, let me tell you, they're bad things. Yeah. But my belly button it knows what to do with them, so let me get it here. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. Beam me up, Scotty! <laughs> <laughs> who? Scotty, the man who lives up there. He beams stuff up, and he will beam up your boll weevils, I will tell you that much. Go talk to Scotty, he'll beam those boll weevils right back up there. <laughs> America's next top model. Oh, well, huh? I won't answer that myself. I'll let my belly button let's answer that. Let's be polite here. <laughs> you seriously want to know the answer to that question? Sure. <laughs> no. <laughs> I look better than you anyway. Sure thing, darling. Goodbye. <laughs> Yeah, what up? Uh, this is my fifth year at Jinkies. Why am I not surprised? Yeah, I'm just wondering if I'm ever going to pass Miss McDougal class. <laughs> I had her. Now, let me tell you something. It's not that easy. Let's see what the magic belly button it has to say. When the wind blows. <laughs> take our physical position, uh, what we're doing, but change the scene entirely. So for instance, if I'm saying sun, wish upon a star, they might yell freeze, and then come out and say Godzilla, or something else, all right? Uh, so could we have a word? Any word? Uh, dog. Dog, thank you. Yeah. Come here, boy, come here. Oh, no, no. Heel. Get up, get up. All right. Now, remember how we, we, how we worked this. Okay, I know you're short, but you're going to have to overcome that with the roller coaster, all right, son? But, but it's... it's Freeze! Ryan Seacrest here with our next performer. Uh, so, do you think you're going to win American Idol this year? Well, I know I am. I'm going all the way to Hollywood, man. Boy, you sure do have a lot of spunk. Are you, are you afraid of Simon? I'm terrified! Uh, as you can see, the animal will start eating you after a while if you don't feed it. Here you go, here you go. Oh, good boy. You must sedate the animal. 
my god, this is uh, a big baby. Uh, <laughs> Someone's gonna come up and direct the rest of the evening. I can't be all that. 